Hello and welcome back to the channel today. Uh, today we're going to be playing some more Stationers. Um, last episode I tried to record. Um, really didn't record too well. So I completely undone everything I've done last time. The only thing I've done is I've built our base up just a little bit more and I've added some lights in. As you can see here we got a pile of uh, tanks and we've got filters, we've got pipes, uh, we've got all kinds of stuff. So what that Light is for on. is we're going to be working on our uh, filtration room today. And I'm going to put it over on this side here and then over here is going to be our arc furniture room. So, uh, enough talking about it so let's start working on it. Okay, first thing you're going to need is um, steel sheets. Um, hoping I have some steel in here. No. Uh, do I have steel anywhere? Gold, copper, steel. Good, good. I was hoping I had some steel somewhere. exactly how many I need but I need quite a bit so uh, start printing you out so I don't think I've got any on me uh, I've got iron sheets but I don't need iron sheets so, uh, let's get you out of the inventory here okay uh, yeah the last couple of times I've tried to record these videos um, either OBS recorded on top of uh, the screen which I finally fixed uh, take two edit uh, my audio was all crackly and crumbly and made me mad the entire time so I redid it and this is take three so hopefully this works down there and leave a comment. Just say hi or whatever you want to say. It doesn't really matter. Just, I'm a friendly person so if you say hi to me I'll, I'll respond back to you. I get along with just about everybody. So all I ask is no mean comments. That's all I ask. this day and age nobody needs hateful comments there is no place for it can't get along with somebody just shut your mouth and get on with your day room set up we can uh, set us up some vents so we can start capturing capturing some of that Martian air so that way when it's time to uh, airlock our base we've got all the gas we need and we can release it and don't have to worry about running out then we can take our suit off take our helmet off and walk around in just our space clothes naked whatever he wants to do I ain't gonna judge but, but yeah this is gonna be a, a big process here I'm gonna get it built all in one day or at least one episode uh, I'll probably break it up into two parts so uh, be able to look out for that if that was to happen as always you can check, uh, check me on Twitter 
instead of playing dead um, in our recent videos, uh, stationary that's not an every day video, it's like every couple of days, something like that, because these videos are a little demanding, uh, so just keep an eye out for them. Uh, I usually try to upload around 3 o'clock every day. Uh, well, not every day, but Monday through Friday. At least that's what I try to do. Don't always work out, but that's what I try to do. Okay, let's get our tanks here. And there's seven gases in this game. Uh, so I think I've got enough room here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do. Good deal. And let's see exactly where I want to sit these at. Yeah. So with these tanks, this is used to capture uh, the gases from the atmosphere or furnace, furnace, wherever you want to capture it from. So you've got two separate options. You've got the small one, and then you've got the really big ones. Um, which we won't need the big ones for quite a while, if ever. So we will just deal with the small ones for now. And place the so the pots are facing us. Should start it at the end, but that's okay. And there we go. Now let's go get our filtration units. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna take some of these pipes real quick. And oh, get off the wall. To at least put one pipe down. That way I know how far back to put my filtration in. I'm gonna try to make it as compact as possible. So let's put you down there. And, and as you can see with these walls here, I've got them here because I'm just gonna do like regular walls. I'm not gonna do frames on top of frames. So whenever you go to put the filtration unit down, you want to make sure you get it on uh, filtration, not air conditioning, not H2 combustor, or the electrolyzer. Make sure you get the filtration unit. And you want it to go that way. Uh, and of course you're the wrong way, wrong way. really wish I could have done this all on camera, but like I said, my recording software didn't want to cooperate with me. It is what it is. What can you do? It's computer software. I mean, computers aren't perfect. Neither are humans, so. we can start uh, laying some pipe down and then uh, okay we're probably gonna need every bit of this pipe so we'll get and grab it while we're at it okay so Like I'm a plumber. It's me, Billy. And I thought I was gonna go with Mario there, didn't you? Okay, so let's do a T junction. Do one there. there. different ways of popping this stuff up and I am just going to use the basic old way here and I'm 
just going to straight pop it all the way across so in case we don't have some filtration system working. It can just bypass through the pop and go outside. You can pop them from filtration to filtration if you like, but you'd have to have a filter in each one in order for the system to work. Just not ready to do that just yet, so um, starting to get this little section popped up here. Need more pops. Go to a lot of pops doing this. And I'm going to have to turn off the cables as well so I can get all this hooked up. I thought I had enough cables but I don't. Okay. Uh, so. okay. So there is the basic setup for it. Uh, so that flow comes from this way, uh, which what I'm going to do is take a shortcut through this wall here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my uh, furnace here, and every time I smelt something, the gas is going to travel through the pipes, through the regulator, come through the wall, hook into this, and start circulating through the filters and to the proper tanks, and so on, all the way down the line. Then whatever gases is left is going to be filtered to the outside. So if we don't need it, it's gone back in the atmosphere. So, okay, let's see. I don't have enough wires. So let's see if we can make it some. I think I've got enough copper. Maybe. We've been there for about 32. Yep, might be enough. And never mind, we got some more copper right here. Ooh, we got 70. Yeah, we're good. We're good on copper. So, let's get some of this here. And we'll let's shoot run. Okay. start running you up because I'm going to hook consoles up to that so I can read the temperature and the pressure in there. So we can get that going as part of it. something up or something like that um, it'll be fine and as you can see they still have it where you can put straight cable to straight pop which is very freaking useful I don't know how that would work 
but um, I'm not questioning it. Okay. And from here. bunch of mining off camera so uh, probably didn't pick up everything that we needed uh, I picked up what we had so okay perfect and I don't think I've got another APC folks so we might have to see about making one which I don't think I have any electrum at the moment Uh, 
solder. I need half iron, half lead. I don't believe I have any lead. I don't So we're gonna need 
more copper. Do I have any more copper? Uh, no copper there. No, no copper there. So let's go ahead and get some more copper going so we can at least get these uh, consoles set up. And between the next, this episode and the next episode, I am going to have to go do a little more mining. Uh, I'm not going to mind on camera because that takes too long and it's too freaking boring. So, so I hope y'all are liking this series so far. Uh, seems to be my most popular videos watched. Uh, so if you haven't seen none of the previous episodes, go back and watch those. And then catch up with these. really missing too much. Okay, so we need there, there. And each one of these are going to be something different. So we're going to uh, have temperature on one side, uh, pressure on the other side. Um, so that way we don't have to keep getting our uh, analyzer with our e-reader telling us what the pressure is in each one of them. We can just look at them and find out. So. Okay. Just cut a little bit short here, so I'll try to get a few more going. And get three more real quick. I just need two more, so let's get uh, how much we got going now. Uh, I should put us at a right amount here. Okay. Class, class, and to the 
that is it. Okay. Now it's time to some power.
Thank <laughs> you.